Hi, good evening, friends. I'm Dr. Salim. I'm the district magistrate of a district called Nadia in West Bengal. On 11th of March, 2013, when I joined the district of Nadia, I came across some shocking news, some facts and figures which are shocking. I thought I must share that with you today. This is one of the photographs. This is a photograph of three boys. Two of them seven years old, and the third one is of four years. And the report said, a seven-year-old boy in West Bengal is just as tall as a four-year-old boy in most other parts of the world. It was shocking. I thought, I am going to take over a district which is adjoining Bangladesh. And if you are familiar with the eastern part of India, you would appreciate West Bengal and Bangladesh. They have many things in common. Socially, culturally, they are one at the same. And financially, we are much ahead of them. But still, the report said a seven-year-old West Bengal boy is just as tall as four-year-old boy from most other countries of the world. Then I started working on it. Then I realized that it's not just Bangladesh. Every other country of the world, or almost every other country, is much ahead of us. I just came across one country which is behind us, that is Ethiopia. Be it Sri Lanka, be it Bangladesh, be it China, be it most of the African countries, be it Pakistan, all of them are ahead of us. I thought I must do something. I started talking to my people. I started talking to my team. Then we realized that unfortunately, in our country, open defecation is a socially accepted norm. And more important, especially in rural areas, there is an understanding in the society, and in fact, there is an understanding about the timing and the place. The first preference for the women and the teenagers, they go at around 4.30, 5.30, followed by men, 5.30 to 6.30, then the children, 7, I mean 6.30 to 7 o'clock. We were very clear, construction of toilet is not going to solve the problem. And we were also very clear, Government is not going to be able to solve this problem. This has to be a mass movement. So we started talking to every section of the society. I started with the political leadership, electoral representative, because ours is a democracy and the political executives are supreme. Then we have involved every single school in my district. I had 4,240 schools with around 850,000 students. Each one of them, yes, each one of them became change agents. We have strategically involved the women and almost every women group in my district. And I must confess, it's the women of my district who have transformed this into a mass movement. We have, in fact, selected around 100 self-help group, women groups, trained them to construct toilet, and they actually, they have constructed toilet. I started talking to the religious heads, faith-based organizations, because as we all appreciate, they have a huge, huge following. So today in Nadia, we have thousands of pandits, pujaris, and imams who keep on telling their followers, there's no point in coming to mandir, there's no point in coming to masjid if you're not clean. There's no point in coming to mandir if you are defecating in the open. That has worked. We have involved almost every section. We have involved medical fraternity. So we have thousands of doctors prescribing toilet usage as a preventive medicine. 
especially to parents who are coming with children having diarrhea, malnutrition, etc. Besides the traditional IEC, BCC activities, we have done every possible innovative activity. We had Sabash Hojagar Express, we have signature campaign, we have hot air balloons, we have marathon, we have cycle rallies. And on 21st of February 2015, Nadia created another history. We have formed the longest ever human chain against open defecation across the world. We have created a human chain of 122 kilometers. Yes, friends, 122 kilometers. Like, if you start from here, it's from here till Sonipet, 122 kilometers. Almost 3 lakh individuals holding hands, taking pledge against open defecation. We have set up two training institute, Mason's Training Institute, to ensure that when the demand starts coming, we should be ready with the supply. So we have two institutes and we have trained 2,400 men and women to be Masons. And yes, the movement was conceptualized in March 2013. But till end of July, we didn't construct even a single toilet. The five months were, you know, forming the base, setting the ground. We started with re-verifying individuals and identifying families who are actually going out and defecating. We have identified two million individuals of my district alone having a population of five million defecating in the open. We have also identified 356,000 households out of a total of one million households without any access to toilets. Our target was two. One, foremost, a behavioral change. And to supplement that, we should provide access to every single household. So we have to construct around 360,000 toilets. We launched the program on pilot basis on 15th of July 2013. And the program was extended to the entire district on 2nd October 2013. Yes, friends, one year before the national program, Swachh Bharat Mission was launched by our Honorable Prime Minister. We have launched Sabar Shojagar in Nadia district on 2nd October 2013. We have set up a robust monitoring supervision mechanism besides the traditional thing. We have extensively used social media and technology. We have set up a web-based, web GIS-based monitoring system to ensure quality of service, to ensure transparency. Throughout the entire movement, we have thousands of heroes who have actually done the program, who have actually executed the movement. Renuga Mandal is one of them. She is from a typical rural household, but she used to have a toilet. Then she got married to Jayadev Mandal of Krishnaganj block of Nadia district. Jayadev, I mean, they didn't have a toilet. So when she joined her in-law's house, she was not used to going out and defecate. So every day, she used to wait till late in the evening, into night, to go out, searching for a place, a secluded place, to relieve herself. But Jayadev got suspicious. He suspected that she is having some illicit affair. So a divorce petition was filed in Calcutta High Court in January 2014. By that time, we had started our movement. So the case was referred to us by the Honorable High Court. We have supported the family in constructing toilet within 72 hours, and the matter was settled. Friends, this was just one of the story. There were hundreds and hundreds of similar stories from the movement. But from the very beginning, we were very clear that any such movement of such huge mammoth scale, if this has to succeed, that has to be sustainable. So we have set up something called, or we have invented something called Pada Najardari Committees. There is nothing but a group of elders in every village 
with the mandate of ensuring and enforcing ODF, Open Defecation Free Status. So every day around 4 o'clock, 4.30, they will get up, roam around the area, catch all the people are going out and convince them. But if they persist on doing it, they have many other strategies. It's not that they will you know, just keep on con convincing. There is something called wall of shame. When they will put up their, fra their photo, and the others from the village will come and write comments. Uh, this, so and so, he is the one. He is the one. That was sufficient. That is such a potential tool. And finally, our day came. Last March, UNICEF did an extensive validation study in my district. And they came up with the report. 99.8% of individuals in Nadia started using toilets. Yes, friends, when we started, when we started the movement in October 2013, it was just about 60%. And in March 2015, 99.8%. And finally, on 30th of April 2015, our district, Nadia, was declared as the first open defecation free district in our country after the launch of Swachh Bharat Mission. Yes, we started with this, but not anymore. At least our future generations in Nadia don't have to go, I mean, go through with this. They will not have to face this comparison. And on 6th of May 2015, Sabah Shojagar was selected as the best project globally by United Nations for the United Nations Public Services Award. And tonight, proud, I'm proud that I'm traveling to Colombia to receive the award from the Secretary General of the United Nations on 26th of this, I mean, coming 26th. So what is the message? Very simple, it's doable. It's just doable. It's not rocket science. And you don't need five years, you don't need 10 years. If you are passionate, it's doable. Thank you, thank you so much.